Hey, welcome back to LB Music. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm Marty, and today I want to show you a very cool trick um, that you can often use on different instruments and, of course, also on vocals. Um, it is called parallel compression. And you probably have seen a lot of videos um, where it is shown how to do it in the box, so like in Logic and in um, Pro Tools where you send um, a drive signal to a aux channel and there you insert the compressor and do the um, parallel compression just in the box. Um, however, I want to show you how to do it in a hybrid mixing setup um, when you have, um, for example, a console and some outboard equipment and I'm going to show you my approach how to do this. Um, I'm going to use for the purpose of this video very affordable equipment. Um, I'm going to use a DBX266 and a Elysis 3632. I'm um, going to um, parallel compress a bass track and a drum track. And so let's get right to it. Alright, so here is the drum track consisting of kick out, snare top, a tom mic, overheads and a room mic. Um, on the drum bus itself here in the box there is just a EQ, a little bit of a top end boost and a little bit of saturation and a cream of tape. And no compression at all. And now let me show how that sounds without um, any parallel compression. I'm going to mute the bass here. Alright, so stand drum track. Um, it's not quite uh, mixed correctly. Um, it's just a premix here. So, and now let me show what I do in the console. So, here is my group one and do where I'm gonna route this in the box um, drum bus two. And first, it goes out on track one and two, which is an almost stereo track, it gets sent from one and two to the subgroup. And here on the subgroup is inserted the DBX266. And now let's just play now without and then with the parallel compression and then I'm going to show you what I did on the compressor. And then with. And out. So what you can immediately hear is um, it gets quite a little bit louder, just in dB. Um, but when you listen to the um, kick and the snare, it has much more impact. Um, there's a lot of more snap. It, it's also a little more articulated. And overall, it's a, a drum sound that you can easily place into a mix later on. So now let me show what I did on the compressor. So, here is the DBX compressor, um, very affordable compressor. Um, it's in the stereo couple mode, so channel 1 um, controls channel 2. And now I'm going to play the drums and solo just the compressor signal. So, as you can hear, it's really spanking. Here on the peak reduction, it's negative 15 to 20. And what you basically do is um, you have a pretty normal ratio, you can play around with that, you can add a little bit more or a little bit less. Um, really key here is a fast attack and a medium release. You can also have a fast release, then you have um, more of a compressed drum sound. And um, also uh, the output gain is fairly high because you have to compensate the gain reduction. And I'm going to bypass the whole signal. So this is the, the standard signal, the uncompressed and not the compressed here. 
And what we're gonna do then is engage the group one, two, where this compressor is inserted. And we're gonna slowly increase the fader and mix it with the dry signal of the drums. All right, here is our um, stereo fader pair. And I'm gonna engage now the compressor and I'm slowly bring it in. Starts to kick in. That would be way too loud. Might go here. Let's disengage it again. Alright. So what you basically get is a much more articulated sound. Um, it gets quite a little bit louder, so you have to compensate it later on the mix. But overall, the drum sound is much more cohesive. Um, you can really hear the spank in the um, in the snare and also in the kick drum. And um, you can also do that with other instruments. I'm going to show you now um, how you do it with the bass. It's basically always the same concept. You can also do it on vocals and percussion tracks. So um, it's a very widespread but very, very useful um, trick to um, get a little bit more out of your instruments. So let's switch to the bass. So this is now the normal bass track. Um, it's just a DI. Here I have the classic stack engaged and um, it has a little bit of compression here um, just to get it a little bit more even and um, a little bit of drive here with the Sheps plugin so that's without within boosted a little bit of the mid frequencies reduced the highs also the lows are um, a little bit um, increased and that's about it. And now I'm gonna engage also the um, parallel compressor, which is a Elysis 3632. Again, also very affordable compressor. And we're gonna see how that works out. And without. So this is now the Elysis 3632, um, also in a couple mode. And now let me just solo now the bass, the compressor signal. As you can see, also very heavily compressed. Um, with here a ratio of um, four to one again. Um, fast attack fairly um, slow release um, makeup gain pretty much all the way up or nearly all the way up so as you can see um, also pretty slamming and now let's check back when we slowly bring into the mix the compressed signal into the dry signal so this is now the dry signal now let's slowly bring in the parallel compression. So that's without and with. Okay, so um, very consistent um, bass sound, um, not too much peaks and um, should be again also be very easily placed into the mix. So now let's check out how the drum and the bass sounds together without and with parallel compression. Alright, this is now without parallel compression. 
Now let's engage both. Without. Maybe a little bit too much. Alright, so this was it. Um, I hope you kind of liked it. Um, I just wanted to show you in a very easy and convenient way how to do parallel compression in a, a hybrid mixing setup with a console. Um, I find it personally a, a little bit more convenient to um, make um, things out of the box, um, for example with parallel compression or also other effects. and. Um, I didn't want to overcomplicate things here, so I just wanted to show you how um, I do it and um, how I approach this concept. And so this uh, was parallel compression, um, introduced way back or many moons ago um, by audio engineers um, in New York. And what you basically also can do is and play around with it, for example, you can make it also in the box that you um, introduce a uh, EQ before the compressor so you can boost the top or maybe the, the low end um, of the signal and mix that back in with the tri signal so you get a different effect, a different tone. Um, be creative, play around with it. So if you like what you've seen, um, please subscribe, let me know what you think about it um, in the comments below. I have also in the description below a link to another video um, where I show this exact same technique um, on vocals. Um, it's a, a vocal processing video. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.